Welcome to the Resources Roadhouse. I'm Wally Graham. I'm at the 2022 New World Medals Conference. And I've caught up with Red Dirt Metals Managing Director, Matthew Boys. Matthew, welcome to the Resources Roadhouse. Thank you, Wally. Good okay, to uh, Red Dirt, um, so you all just started chasing a lithium project. Um, you, you've got a lot of other stuff on the go that we won't go into today. I mean, that, that's creating enough uh, furor on the, on the ASX as it is. But your new lithium project, your Mount Ida lithium project, yeah. I say new because you only just picked it up last year. We did. What have you been able to learn about it since you picked it up and what do you hope to achieve in the okay. near future? Yeah, great. Listen, we picked it up in November last year. Uh, since then we've raised about $35 million or there or thereabouts. We've been very aggressive with our exploration. We've managed to put 60,000 metres of drilling into the asset already. We believe internally within Red Dirt that we've, we've uh, actually accrued the critical mass we need to be able to get that asset into production. And we're basically running down that road to production as fast as we can. The asset's on two granite mining leases in Western Australia. Uh, it's close to good infrastructure, we've got access to ports, roads, rail facilities, everything we need. And we've got a great team in place to actually progress that through to, um, through to production. Yeah, you're in a great spot, you're just you know, outside Kalgoorlie basically. Yeah, yeah, it's two and a half hours up the road and we've got our own airstrip next door. Yeah, so, all right. So, um, was the, the, the idea of looking for lithium, as I alluded to before, you've got quite a, a, a big gold project on the go as well. Yeah. But the lithium project, did, did that sort of come as a side issue or was it, some, was it a deliberate thing? It wasn't deliberate. Uh, we bought the asset. Um, all the, all the background and the profile that exists in directors on the board when we bought the asset is high grade, narrow band gold, really that's what, we, that's what we like. We bought the asset with that intention um, to, to explore for gold. We like Mount Alder as a gold asset, but during that data review period uh, we found out there was massive lithium pegmatite potential on there. So, and, um, and since that date we had a huge influx of interest in the company from, from the lithium space. Uh, we found three very large pegmatites sites to date on the project and we've only really just scratched the surface with regards to lithium. So we are a lithium focused company now, first and foremost, and we'll continue to be there for the foreseeable future, I'd say. Well, it's one of those uh, um, fortunate uh, yes. exploration accidents, you know, and, and when it happens, uh, it, it, it's nice. You've got to be in it to win it, yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah. But uh, as people say, if you're, if you're not out there looking for anything, you're not going to find anything. You're not going to find anything. Yeah. Yeah. And at the moment, finding lithium, especially the way things are at the moment, it's a, quite a good one. Inbound interest is incredible. It really is. It's hard to gauge. I've never been in a position like this in the market where you have a lot more interest coming in with you know, people with a serious uh, intentions to buy your offtake when you actually get in production two and a half years down the road. There is, obviously the people in the coal face understand the business a lot more than we, better yeah. than we do, and they can see a deficit going forward in spodumene for the foreseeable future. All right, well, it seems like uh, there's going to be quite a bit of news come out of Mount Ida. There will be. And so um, make sure you keep us up to speed so we can keep our viewers and readers up to speed. Uh, but until we start seeing all that, it's been a nice to meet you, Matthew. Likewise. Thank you very much for your time. Cheers.